This is Tales of Swordfall. Episode 3, Dead Man's Party. Hello, I'm Paul, I'm the DM, and this is Tw- Tales of Swordfall, and who am I with tonight? Uh, <clears throat> hey everybody, it's Andrew from The Beholder's Eye. I'll be playing Tenor Timbers tonight, the Warforged Bard. Hey, this is Faye from How the Quest Was Won. Uh, I'll be playing Call of Ice, the Dragonborn Barbarian. Awesome! Uh, so it's been like, gosh, three weeks since we've played. Uh, since this is kind of a loose and fun one-shot, or short shot as we've been calling it. <laughs> and uh, the last thing that I remember, and according to my official notes... Um, a tenor was carrying Kala. <laughs> yep, and Kala had her axe, because apparently she sleeps with her axe all the time. And is, uh, you know, is basically sleeps like a baby. Yes. And can't be woken up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, and also other things that were happening, uh, you guys uh, were introduced to the Kremel Manor, found out that uh, Chantel basically has her own village of servants that apparently she names the babies for. Um Tinner got polished. Um, you met Mikkel, the always in love uh, dandy boy, and uh, <laughs> and we discovered that sandwiches and hamburgers are the same thing, depending who you are. It's a regional thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was going to say it's a class thing, but. <laughs> probably that too <laughs> yeah uh, yeah hamburgers what else happened i think really that was all that happened yeah pretty much yeah, yeah pretty much <laughs> yeah moving at the speed of woo <laughs> at the at speed of D D. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so we're we're uh late at night a sneaking mission. Yep, you are on the sneaking mission. Um, Not Kala, she's on a sleeping mission. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> is Kala even awake at this point? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you, you tell uh, me when I can wake up after my one. Yep. I think I, that's what happened. I rolled a one and I did not wake up. Yeah, let's let's just do um, let's do a uh, Constitution saving throw. Just see if like all this Jocelyn actually is waking you up. Yeah, I mean, Tenor is carrying her in a fireman's carry, and it's not the most comfortable, I'm sure, no. <laughs> Especially being made of wood. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, you were just, like, buffed down. You know, you have sm- all your rough edges were s- smoothed out. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a 19. That's a 19, yeah. With a 19, totally. You can wake up whenever you want. Um. All right, I think I uh, I wake up probably at the most inopportune time when like when uh, when Tenor is trying to sneak past somebody and then I just like jerk away and <laughs> and just go who's there? I'd say, <laughs> I like the idea of we're getting right up to the house and I'm about ready to go in through the one of the side doors and yeah. she wakes up and I just immediately toss her in the bushes. <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, Shh. So you you are walking through the area toward the main house. The moon's, like, mostly out. It still has a little bit to go to get to a full moon, but there's a nice soft glow. It's dim light, so, you know, even if you don't have dark vision, you, you can see, you can see okay. Um, you know, there's a slight breeze in the air, and the main house looks like it is remaining dark. Maybe everybody has actually gone to bed. Um, Tinner, you know there is an entrance in the back through the garden that the um, giant man took you through before he polished you. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. But... That was kind of a weird portion of our episode. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
a little erotic, but you know, it happens. In the most like mundane way possible, too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think. Um, are you gonna are you gonna first check the door um, to see if it's locked or open? Yeah, for sure. And I'm definitely. I need. I need to make a stealth check. Yeah. That's why we're coming up to the house. Twelve. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, and then yeah, go up and check the door first. I, I I think I like the idea of as I'm trying to like quietly check this door is when Kala wakes up. Yeah. Um. So what? What is the thing that wakes Kala up finally? Uh, I'd say I probably had to shift my weight. Uh, to you know, shift her on my shoulders so I could get a good grip on the door handle as I'm trying to be nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just, like, probably roll off or something as I'm waking up. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, um, mm, give me, give me, let's do a deck save with disadvantage because, you know, maybe you're, like, cat-like and you'll actually, like, land without much sound. All right. So Kala is having one of those dreams where she's <laughs> falling. <laughs> right, exactly. One of those really scary dreams. And then uh, wakes up to falling. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, so my first one's oh, a 21. 21. Okay. And then let me roll my second one here. And that one's a 14. You know, that's not bad. Um, you know, all those, uh, all that training with uh, barbarians and such, mm -hmm. you know, they at least taught you how to properly fall down like the first like <laughs> five months you were with them as they were like trying to give you some kind of martial discipline yeah and um yeah i mean you fall down it's cat-like right? reflexes yeah it's it's cat-like uh it it's a maybe a little bit louder than you know one would want especially if one's sneaking but uh, i'd say tenor would immediately drop down and be like we have to be very quiet. We're going into the house. Look, we're already here. And points at the door. And uh, I think Hall is still going to be very confused after waking up. And she's like, ugh, ugh, how did I get here? All right. Uh, so, yeah, Tinner would be like, I carried you from your bed. You wouldn't wake up. Sorry. But oh. I, I didn't want to do it alone. I'm a little scared. Uh oh okay all right that sometimes happens sorry I know I, I know I'm a deep sleeper probably not a great quality to have in a in a barbarian but hey but yeah I figured you'd want to check out the house with me as well yes yes no I totally do thank you for bringing me along let's go see what kind of weird freaky shit these people are into <laughs> <laughs> all right let's do it uh, Kala will sneak behind Tenor to the to the door. Okay, so, Tinner, you start rattling the handle, and uh, to your amazement, somehow they have secured this door during the night! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Um, I'm going to, I don't, uh, I'm not a thief or anything, so I don't really have tools, but I would say... I've had to pick a lock in my time or two. Uh, oh yeah, everybody does at least once in their life. So I'm gonna try and pick this lock. All right, nineteen. Oh, nice. Wow, how did you? How? <laughs> <laughs> so tenor, uh, tenor pulls a small little wooden rod and a little wooden, or a small little uh, steel rod and a another fine, oddly shaped steel pin and just kind of fools around with the door for a couple seconds and pops it right open yeah out of sheer luck it's just like <laughs> huh, this feels about right Pop. and the door slowly opens to this dining room or actually no it's the servants court uh like a servants corridor first that's right it's it's dark in there. Uh, the windows are... They have blinds over them. So really the only light that you're getting right now 
is the moon going through the doorway. Um. Um. Kala has a has five candles. Should we light a candle? Um. Well. I'd say we might be better off just kind of moving in the shadows if we can. If we can get in here and close the door, our well. I don't know about my eyes. <laughs> I would imagine her eyes would adjust, though. Um, if I remember correctly, Dragonborns and Waterforges do not have dark vision. That is true. I do not have dark vision. <laughs> is it going to be now? If we go inside and close the door, is it? It's complete it, darkness, or is it just? It's going to be lower than dim light, but it's not going to be complete, complete darkness. Okay, uh, I'd say yeah. Okay, light a candle, but we've we've got to be careful. We don't want to get. Caught. All right. I don't know if we'd be in trouble, really, but. Uh, Kala lights a candle. Okay, now you have uh what so many feet of uh light and dim light, so you know navigating around a house with a candle. That's what people used to do all the time. So you know, I I don't think you're gonna have anything. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be too much of a trouble. It's probably going to take down your sneak, so when you start sneaking, yeah, there might be a little complications there. So, okay. Uh, first thing I want to do is make a perception check to see if I hear anybody moving around or, you know, immediately notice that we might be in any kind of danger. Uh, okay, I'd like, <laughs> like to do that as well, please. Yes, I, I, four. I, I think that's that's a good idea. Uh, ten. That's a ten. Okay. Well, I Kala. See Kala. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you see, you see Kala. You forget that she's there and she's your ally. And whoa, oh. startles me. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, oh. Uh, Kala. Um, in the distance, somewhere within this dark house, you see a soft light. Um. And it, where where is that in relations to us? Is that in front of us, to our right, to our left, up, down? So there's the servants' corner, and it looks like it just has an archway which looks into the dining room, and then at the very end of what you would guess that like twenty person table is, there looks like some kind of soft light emitting. Okay. Um. Hey, look. Do you see that light over there? Oh, yes, now that you've pointed it out, I do. Let's go towards it. I agree. Um, I think we should try to make our way upstairs. That was yes. where we saw the weird stuff from outside earlier. Yeah, no, I agree. Let's go. Yeah. We walk towards the light. Yes, not walk towards the light. All right, are you trying to sneak? Oh, for sure. Yes, and since you are using that uh, candle, I'm going to say disadvantage. Okay. Oh. Which, yeah. oh, wow. Oh, no, you still get a 21, even though you I don't get the really natural get 20. <laughs> oh, no, I rolled oh, no. a natural one. I guess I shouldn't re-roll that since it's not going to be any lower. I am in my, you know, I do have my giant battle axe, yeah. and I have my armor on, <laughs> And so, I have so, a, a candle in my hand, so it's probably really hard to sneak around. Tenor just immediately <laughs> blends into the shadows and Kala trips and falls. I know. I <laughs> probably as like much noise as possible. I probably <laughs> like hit that table, you know, the twenty person table and like the chairs are sliding around. It's it's probably dark enough that you don't really realize like where your feet are going, where your like tail's going, or you know, anything like that. And um yeah, you're you're rattling a lot, <laughs> and uh, as you get closer, you notice that the um, light becomes clear and is moving and is human shape. Um, I walk towards it some more quickly towards it. It looks directly in your in your uh, direction. I'm going to stay exactly where I am at the moment, just freeze and wait to see how this plays out. Because I, I feel able... like if, if it doesn't happen too bad, I might just abandon her and 
and keeps trying to stop them. <laughs> Am I able to see who it is now? Should I make a perception check? Um, if you want to do like an investigation or anything, uh, okay. yeah, that's cool. Um, so here's the details as you start getting closer. Um, you notice it's a young woman. Uh, she's transparent. She looks like she's human, but then again, most things look human to you. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot that Kala can't tell people apart. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, she looks like she's dressed in really fancy clothing. And may have a wig on, you're not sure. Ooh. Uh, yeah, give me that investigation check. Investigation... 12. 12. Well, the obvious gash across her neck is, yeah, is there, and uh, this this might this might just be a ghost, maybe. Um, Kala's gonna walk up to it and go, "Are you dead?" Can I can I see this happening? Uh, yeah, you can see Kala just kind of like, you know trying to do the sneak thing but is approaching a ghost the ghost is looking directly <laughs> at her and um all uh, right i'm gonna say tenor wants to try and figure out if this is some sort of like magical projection so he's gonna make an arcana check Ooh. Right. Damn, wow, wow. you are you are on fire with your roles here um you know that you know, magical projection usually takes a person within the vicinity of, like, so many feet. Uh, this is a, like, dining hall, so, you know, if there was a person, they might be kind of obvious. But, um, from what you can see in this dark room, there's really only the ghost. Just as, it seems like it might be a real ghost, not a, yeah, uh, it, some, some sort of magical trick. Yeah, it seems like this is most likely a real ghost. Uh, does the ghost respond to me after I talk to it? Uh, yes. She says... <laughs> That's really scary. <laughs> um, uh, from the oh, shadows, you hear t Tenor. Ask her if she needs a glass of water. Uh... <laughs> Do you need a glass of water? <laughs> um, hey, I have a better idea. Why don't you just um pantomime to me what you're trying to say? Um I I think Kala realizes that the gash in her neck is probably making it really difficult for her to talk. <laughs> yeah, it's just just maybe. Um so she'll say, um, or can she can she make a perception check to see if she looks like um if she looks like Chantel? Uh sure. You can um yeah, give me one. Uh thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. Um, yeah, you kinda recognize like the brow line in the nose is like similar. Okay. Um sh uh how old were you when you died? Just, uh, just, you know, you know, show me some hands. So show me some fingers. Uh, yeah, she starts, uh, holding up. She flashes her hands twice and then holds up five more. Okay, so 25. Um, how long ago did you die? Just, like, show me in years with your hands again. Um, it kind of looks like a rhythmic movement as she starts flashing all these tens up. Oh, okay. A long time ago, huh? How about in centuries? She has to think about it for a moment. <laughs> and you can see that she's like, you kind of recognize this movement from Chantel of Liz, like trying to do math with her fingers. <laughs> and uh, she gets up to like three, mm -hmm. pauses, kind of like looks up, Gives herself self a self assuring nod and three. Okay. Wow. Stay tuned for the next part of this episode.
remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.